Let's look at how you can create a new calculated column in the Power BI Desktop. Calculated columns are a way to extend the data in an existing table and as an extension have some performance advantages in certain cases. In this model, we have a single table, Bike Sales, which will extend with some new columns. We can create new columns right here in the report view by first selecting the field list for the table that we want to have the column be in and then choosing the new column button from the ribbon. This creates a new column called column which appears in the field list. Let's say that you wanted to concatenate the field model name and color into a single column for the report. So to do this, let's rename this column to be model and color and enter a formula. Now this is stored in the model and I can use it directly as I would any other column that exists in the model. So I can add this directly to a visual and slice on it. Probably the best place to create a calculated column though is in the data view and that's because you can immediately see the values once you've finished entering a formula. So let's switch to the data view and take a look at a more complicated example. Here we have a calculated column named product type. This formula inspects a column named product name and searches for a word that we're interested in, such as mountain or tour, and then pulls it out into the new column. Notice the Excel style if syntax. I can easily scroll through the entire data set to check to see if the formula is working correctly. And like the previous example, I could now slice on this column in a visual. These first two examples manipulated text, but you can also calculate values in a calculated column. For instance, the total cost formula is the sum of all of the cost columns. This column, however, can also be calculated as a measure, and generally it is better to use measures for numeric calculations. A calculated column has the advantage of being pre-calculated and stored as part of the model so it doesn't have to be calculated each time the model is recalculated. This can be important in very large models, but they take up additional storage space as well, so it's a factor to consider when building your model. As a final note, most all of the inter-column calculations you can use for a new column can also be performed in the query view, and it's largely a matter of personal preference as to which one you use when. So that's it. Calculated columns in the Power BI Desktop can help you tailor your model for fast calculations and summarizations. Thanks very much for listening.